Hey, here it is. For the third week in a row, everyone. The reveal of the college football playoff top 25 every Tuesday night gets released around 6 or 6.30 hour. Tonight it's released at 6 because the big Michigan versus Louisville Big Ten ACC Challenge game begins at 6.30. So it begins a half hour earlier. It's obviously on the same channel ESPN as, as is the game later on. So, yep, here it starts right now. They're going to get started right now. Herbie's going to do a little bit of analysis here. So if you guys want to listen in, you're welcome to do so. And they'll be doing some analyzing throughout when they reveal it. Michigan game, though, as a fan, it's hard to even talk about that one. They started out well. They led 6 nothing, missed an extra point. But, I mean, that was kind of a minor part. But once, yeah, once they, they really went south, they really did go south. I mean, their defense just wasn't there. It's very inconsistent. Don Brown's defense just couldn't couldn't give an answer like they normally don't. And yeah, that's that's really what it turned into last weekend. But the Auburn Alabama game, that was definitely the highlight of the weekend. My favorite game all weekend. And yep, easily, especially not seeing not seeing Alabama and saving in the college football playoffs since for the first time in the era too. And they haven't been in they haven't been a non they haven't been a non national championship slash playoff game. Since 2000 and since 2013 in the All State Sugar Bowl. And we'll really see where Utah ends up here. They, I think Colorado kind of gave them a scare early on. It was, it was, excuse me, it was, it was, it was, it was ten to ten to three at one point in the game. How about Baylor and Oklahoma rematching from that 28 to 3 catastrophe in, in Waco? How about that? I mean, that they, to, that they get to play each other in the conference championship game is really cool. It's going to be highly viewed by college football because the winner, winner, especially if there's craziness that happens this weekend, could go to the playoffs. So we really will see how it's done. We have Oklahoma State at eight and four. They 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 are still in the top twenty-five after losing to Oklahoma, but they didn't lose in the blowout. But they lost pretty much in the third quarter. They they their lead kind of slipped a little bit, and that's just the way it was. Navy end up Navy end up moving up to twenty-fourth after being out of the top twenty-five. Virginia was also unranked, and now they move back to the top twenty-five at twenty-three. USC stays at twenty-two. And then App State, wow, they bumped up to 21. So now they'll be in a bigger bowl game because of it. Cincinnati is behind Boise State. Minnesota went down 10 spots. The Golden Gophers of Minnesota will be down to 18 after that loss to Wisconsin. I could see why. It was easily a blowout. I think, I think that was definitely the right call. Iowa goes up to one after their, win, their statement win last weekend against Nebraska. They barely had it, but... Wins a win. The playoff playoff poll really wants to count that, and this just the college football world itself when they're trying to select bowl games. Michigan stays only at 14th. I'm actually excited about that for the bowl game they could get in. Whether it's the Holiday Bowl, like I'm seeing, I'll be doing a segment of that soon, or New Year's Day. I don't see 14th that bad. So, I mean the I mean the Oregon game. I mean the Oregon game really will mean something this weekend because it, because if Utah beats Oregon, I think. Oregon will slip down, slip down for Michigan. They definitely will not get in the Rose Bowl. And they definitely won't get in the New Year's Six either. So you can't really make New Year's Six Bowls at three losses. Alabama at 12. I can't believe I'm saying it, but Alabama is all in the top 10. Woo hoo hoo! And Nora Dam, they moves, moves one up to 15 after their win against Stanford last week. Stanford gave them a game a little bit though, so. Whoever they're going to play in a bowl game, which is which is most likely the the bowl game in Orlando, three days after Christmas, that's more than likely the bowl. Notre Dame will get in as an independent school. Penn State stays at ten. They're at ten and two, and their Wolves Bowl hopes are going to continue to stay alive. Other other than if Wisconsin upsets Ohio State, Florida's at nine. They moved up two rankings. Wisconsin moves up to eight. We have a lot of drama folding. But them beating Minnesota, wow. Not really a playoff contender, but Wisconsin uh, sitting there in the mix right now. And good 
You wonder if there is craziness that'll happen. Probably won't. But obviously they beat Ohio State to go to the Rose Bowl. Interesting thing there, Reese, is that the Buckeyes win. Wisconsin and Penn State. There'll be an interesting discussion there that we'll have maybe later tonight or on Saturday about who has the edge to be the team to represent the Big Ten out in Pasadena. Well, Wisconsin up four spots to eight. Let's see who's at number seven. The Baylor Bears are at seven. We'll, we'll see if we'll see if them in Oklahoma are six or seven. I'm really gonna see if how it's how it's gonna turn out. Who's resume at the end looks better if Baylor sitting at seven, we assume that Oklahoma's gonna be at six and you talk five. And Baylor lost, keep in mind we're gonna see Oklahoma in a second. Baylor lost to Oklahoma when they were up twenty five points and had the game at hand. I mean, the committee talks about all this. They're gonna bring all of this into account. If they avenge their only loss, Baylor's in a really good And it's been an amazing two weeks for Baylor. Remember two weeks ago, they were number 14. We've been calling this Big 12 market correction yeah. that we saw last week when they moved up five spots. Then all of a sudden, Oregon loses, and Minnesota loses, and Alabama loses. And now you've got a top seven meetup in the Big 12 title game. And as you mentioned, David, if they avenge that loss against Oklahoma, if they play in that game the entirety the way they played the first half when they had a 25-point lead. Could that be enough yes. to conventional, to maybe convince the committee to leapfrog Utah if LSU beats Georgia? Uh, Kirk, I always say you have to be cautious here because you're dealing with a small group of people. The committee's only 13 uh, people, uh, number 13 people, and that's not even counting when guys are recused from making the discussions. But do you derive anything from what you've seen so far and how it could impact Utah in the Pac-12 championship game if the Utes win? against the Big 12 champion. Well, I think it's always been important. It's definitely, I think, head-to-head. -head, the Pac-12 champion and the Big 12 champion wins, especially the higher-ranked Big 12 or Pac-12 team wins instead of the lower. So how much drama will it fold if Oregon, Oregon rebounds and they, and they upset Utah? We'll see here in a few minutes. They favor Utah over Oklahoma. Will that, as the guys just said, will playing number seven for number six... I don't know if Utah is more deserving, but I think the most deserving teams get into the playoff. And Oklahoma had their chance last year. Kyler Murray and they played Alabama. So it's like they've been in the playoffs. So maybe Utah will have a good chance to get four. Ohio State continues at one, no surprise. Number six, we have a six versus seven Big 12 championship. That's going to be crazy. Wow. The Utah will be at five. The Utah Utes remain at five. Georgia stays at four, obviously. We'll fast forward it. Clemson, Georgia, Clemson, Ohio State at one, and LSU will be at two. All right, I'll go through the rankings here, and then I'll analyze for another 30 seconds, and then I'll call this video for the night. Number six. Here is where it starts. Here's the top 20. Here's... 21 through 25 for you guys to see. And now we have the have 20 through 16. So you didn't see any big movement other than the Gophers this weekend. So the Gophers will probably lock their spot up at New Year's, but they will... They were projecting either a Citrus Bowl or Outback Bowl in a couple of projections I've seen this weekend. Michigan just falls one spot. 
Oregon's up. Alabama falls all the way behind Auburn. And it's critical to see, take a look at where Oregon is, and that's important for Utah. Utah currently right now with no win. I forgot how Auburn way, jumped way up on Alabama. <laughs> I love it. Oh, oh, oh. And now there's 10 through 7. There's your 10 through 7, folks. Baylor, Wisconsin, Florida, and Penn State. Yep. And there you wrap it. Wow, how about Bo Nix being such a beast for Auburn? Their defense just in general. They had two pick six, sixes in the game, especially I watched the one in the second half. Oh, I was getting excited after that play, and they just continued it from there. They definitely stopped Tua and, excuse me, Alabama's offense very well. Tua's still out, but I mean, with their, with their explosive offense and their really tough history in that rivalry, I mean, this it was just really, it was really fun to watch, and I... I can't. I can't believe it was that. It was that much of a. Excuse me. Is that much of a catastrophe for Alabama? And I think from the beginning it was going to be a shootout. They were, both teams were definitely performing video game numbers, and that missed field goal, that doink at the end, <laughs> that summed it up. That summed up the college football weekend pretty well. So, wow. How about six versus seven in the Big Twelve Championship? I'm surprised they wouldn't have Chris Fowler and Kirk Herbstreit call. That game, since they're both top ten teams compared to Oregon and Utah, but yeah, those are those. I think two, those are my top two games of the week, and then other other than the SEC championship game, name being number one. So stay tuned to stay tuned soon tomorrow for some picks and analysis on all conference championship games. One of my favorite weekends of the year in all of sports and college football itself. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and reaction reveal and. Hope to see you next time on the M Sports Hub YouTube channel.